the ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load, and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, Wow, if at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Our cherished and distinguished alumni and ever supportive stakeholders of our great university, the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Thank you very much for the privilege and the honor to come your way briefly with a few thoughts on the KNUST Day of Giving. This is a special day to honor, appreciate, and celebrate the hen that laid the golden eggs after 70 years of existence and global impact. On Friday, the 6th of October, 2023, we shall all show our appreciation to KNUST by making financial donations to the university towards a noble cause in an innovative online fundraising initiative that is dubbed the KNUST Day of Giving. Our target is to raise 200 million Ghana cities to build a 2,000 bed space hall of residence at KNUST to solve one of the biggest problems of our students and management, accommodation on campus for students. I am therefore calling on the magnanimity of all alumni, industry, and business partners, staff, students, and all friends of KNUST to kindly make financial donations electronically in any major currency on the KNUST Day of Giving. I am extremely pleased to announce to you that you are an automatic champion for this great and noble assignment. Please let us endeavor to rally as many people as possible to create this big supporting wave to make a huge impact on this global KNUST Day of Giving. No donation is too small. Thanks so very much and do stay blessed for deciding to give to support the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. KNUST Day of Giving. Please do not be left out. Hashtag KNUST Day of Giving. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone, and then welcome to today's contest. This evening, we have Nautical World GHS, St. Joseph RC Basic School. We have Enways Domization Mission International School. This is going to be the last contest of the Greater Accra Regional Qualifiers. And then the winner of this contest will be will take one of the slots available to qualify to the nationals, which will be held at KNUST Kumasi. We shall introduce our contestants. So we go to Nautica Goodwill, represented by Joshua Adu. Laurentia Prempe. St. Joseph RC Basic. Otne Lacon. Ikram Abu. And wisdomization. Robert Amponsa. Adiza to Sulema. Is it that my contestants are not happy to be here or they are tired? No worry, we will finish very soon. So I want you to be very relaxed, but then speak out in the microphone. It's okay. Speak into the microphone so that I can hear you clearly. I hope that's okay. All right. So today we would go straight ahead with what lies ahead of us. So, we we'll go into round one. For round one, I would ask questions from mathematics, biology, chemistry, physics, and ICT. If a school should answer a question correctly, you will be rewarded with three points. If it's incorrectly answered, it becomes available as a bonus point for the two other schools to compete for. The first school to press the buzzer would be the school which would answer the bonus question. If they are wrong, they would receive no point. And if they are right, they will receive a point for, a bonus, uh, for that bonus question. Schools will have 15 seconds to answer questions without calculations and 40 seconds to answer questions with calculations. You would have a maximum of two attempts to answer your major question and one attempt for a bonus. So either the time or the attempt, the number of attempts, which one comes first. At this point, we would proceed, but first let's test our buzzers and wisdomization. St. Joseph. Nautical. Okay. So we begin. Preamble to all schools. You are to provide the number of lines of symmetry of the following shapes. Nautical. Isosceles triangle. One. One is correct. Saint Joseph. Rhombus. Two. Two is correct. And wisdomization. Circle. Zero. No, I don't take that. Two. That is wrong. Bonus. St. Joseph. Inf infinity. Infinity, yes, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Preamble again. State, you have to state the function of the following parts of the human eye. St. Joseph. The cornea. The cornea allows us to see color. No. It stimulates the eye for us to see. No. Bonus. Okay, I'll come back to that. And wisdomization. Pupil. It 
It sends signals to the brain. No. It helps to see colors. No. Bonus. Saint Joseph. It controls the amount of light and focus on the lens. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. So it controls the amount of light entering the eye. Yeah, okay. All right. Nautical. Retina. Bonus. Saint Joseph. It contains cone and quartz, which allows us to see color and also see in the dark. No, I'll give that to you for a bonus. So what I was expecting, it contains light sensitive cells that capture incoming light and convert it into electrical signals. That's quite key. Then for the cornea, it refracts refracts incoming light and helps to focus it on the retina. Okay. All right. The third set of questions and wisdomization. Your question. In a library, there are 150 books written by Ama Ata Edu and 200 books written by Aikwe Ama. Among the readers, 40 people exclusively read books by Ama Ata Edu and 80 people exclusively read books by Aikwe Ama. If each reader reads at least one book, how many readers read books by both Ama Ata Edu and Aikwe Ama? Twenty. No. Two hundred and thirty. No, please. Bonus. Thirty readers. Nautical. In a school of 255 students, 80 of them study Arabic only and 125 study French only. Each of the students study at least one of the two subjects. Calculate the number of students that study both subjects. Fifty-two. No. Bonus. Saint Joseph. 25. No, please. Joshua, you are very close. It's 50. St. Joseph, in a survey of 300 people, 100 people like Ghana Jollof. 120 people like Nigeria Jollof. Each person likes at least one of these two foods. How many people like both Ghana Jollof and Nigeria Jollof? Eighty. Eighty is correct. <laughs> Preamble to all schools. So all numbers I'm going to say are going to be subscripts. I hope you get me. Subscripts. All the numbers I'll do here are subscripts. Is that okay. All right. So you are to balance the following chemical equations. CH subscript four plus O subscript 2 goes to CO subscript 2 plus H subscript 2 O. Not good goodwill. C 
CH4 plus O2 yielding CO2 plus 2H2O? No. Bonus. Yes, St. Joseph. CH4 plus 2O2 maps to CO2 plus 2H2O. Yes, that is correct. St. Joseph, N2 plus H2 goes to NH subscript 3. N2 plus 3H2 maps to 2NH3. That is correct. And wisdomization. SO2 plus O2 goes to SO3. SO2 plus half O2 going into SO3. Come again. SO2 plus half O2 going into SO3. I'll give it to you. Preamble to all schools. St. Joseph. Abuna Sewa is flying her drone. She measures, she measures the velocity of the drone to be 10 meters per second. Isaac asks her to lift a camera of 150 grams with her drone of mass 1 kilogram. What will be the kinetic energy of the drone? Seventy-five joules. No. Three hundred and fifty joules. No, please. Bonus. And wisdomization. Seven thousand five hundred joules. No, please. 57.5 joules. And wisdomization, your question. Franklina is new to riding bicycles. She decides to paddle fast and move at a velocity of 3 meters per second. If their total mass is 70 kilograms and Franklina weighing 60 kilograms falls off the bicycle and the bicycle continues to move, what will be the change in kinetic energy of the bicycle before it stops moving? One hundred and ninety five joules. No, please. 15 joules. No, please. Bonus. St. Joseph. 270 joules. That is correct. <laughs> Nautical goodwill. A concrete mixer with a mass of 400 kilograms contains 20,000 grams mass of sand. If the concrete mixer is moving with a velocity of 20 meters per second, what is the kinetic energy of the concrete mixer?
Bonus. Saint Joseph. Four thousand two hundred jewels. No, please. Now suspecting eighty-four thousand jewels. And resumeization. Your question. What does the keyboard shortcut Control plus K typically do in Microsoft Word? Insert paragraph formatting. No. Open insert paragraph format. No. Bonus. Not a car. Hyperlink. Hyperlink. For a bonus, hmm. I'm still thinking. For a bonus, what does it do? It sends you to a new link. Sends you to a new link. No, I won't give it to you. So what I was expecting is it inserts hyperlink. It uh, opens the insert hyperlink dialog. Okay, it opens the insert hyperlink uh, dialog box so that you can now insert your hyperlinks. So if you break, that's why I wanted that clarification. All right. Nautical Goodwill. In Adobe InDesign, what does the, con the keyboard shortcut Control plus N do? St. Joseph. Opens a new page. Yes. It's standard. St. <laughs> Joseph. In Microsoft Excel, what does the keyboard shortcut Alt plus Enter do when used within a cell? Bonus. It gives you the opportunity to add a line break within the cell's content. But no, you wanted to break your head. Let's relax, okay? Preamble to all schools. You are to mention the number of oxygen atoms in the following compound. Nautical Goodwill, aluminum hydroxide. One. No. Three. Not got good word. Two. No. And wisdomization. Three. That is correct. <laughs> Saint Joseph. Sodium carbonate. Three. That is correct. <laughs> and randomization, your question. Barium hydroxide or barium hydroxide. One. No. Bonus. St. Joseph. Four. No, it's two. Two. So please, until you hear Mr. Bonus, hold on with the person of your buzzer. Is okay? Or until you hear the time go off. If you haven't heard the timer go off, don't press your buzzer. Is that clear? All right. Preamble. The following questions are statements. You have to state whether they are true or false. These questions will not be passed on as bonus, and you have only one attempt. St. Joseph, carbon monoxide is the gas produced when glucose is oxidi oxidized during internal respiration. False. False is correct. <laughs> and wisdomization. 
Chlorine is a noble gas. False. False is correct. <laughs> Nautical goodwill. The number of oxygen atoms present in three molecules of carbon dioxide is six. False. It's true. Three times two. And wisdomization. Not all exposure to pathogens results in disease. True. True is correct. <laughs> Nautical goodwill. A record of daily activities on a farm is termed as farm diary. True. True is correct. St. Joseph, the West African long leg is a breed of a goat. False. That is correct. <laughs> Not good goodwill. The start menu in Windows allows you to create custom folders to organize your applications. False. False is correct. St. Joseph, the standard toolbar includes a button to highlight the last action performed in the document. False. False is correct. <laughs> and and wisdomization will answer the last question for this round. The formatting toolbar includes, feature, includes features to create and customize tables in a document. False. False is correct. <laughs> and with that, we come to the end of round one. Welcome back, welcome back. At the end of round one, Nautica Goodwill has nine points. St. Joseph Roman Catholic School, 26 points. And Wisdomization Mission International School, 13 points. With this, we go to round two. Round two is the fastest brain, fastest finger round. In this round, one question will be read out and contestants will compete to be the first to answer. Each question carries a score of four points. When a contestant is ready to answer, they should press the buzzer before they answer. Answering before pressing the buzzer will disqualify the school from the question. After the buzzer is pressed, the contestants must answer in three seconds. If a school gets the question wrong, the two remaining schools get to compete to answer. A wrong answer in this round attracts a penalty of one point. 
if you press the buzzer, you must answer or you lose a point. Before we proceed, we will test our buzzers. Nautical Goodwill. St. Joseph. And Wisdomization. Good. I wish you all the best in this round. The first question. Why does the epiglottis close as you swallow food? Nautical. To prevent food from entering the lungs. To prevent food from entering the lungs. That is correct. I'll give that to you. The exterior angle of a regular polygon is 30 degrees. Determine the sum of its interior angles. And wisdomization? 1,980. No. Not a car. 1,800. Degrees. That is correct. <laughs> the process of removing unproductive poultry beds from a flock. Not a car. Carlin. Carlin is correct. In a box, there are 100 identical balls. An unknown number of these balls are red, some are blue, and the rest are green. If the probability of picking a red ball at random from the box is 25%, and the probability of picking the blue ball is 15%, what is the probability of picking a green ball? Nautical. 60%. 60% is correct. <laughs> Transplanting of young seedlings is usually done in the evening. Why? St. Joseph. To reduce transpiration. That is correct. John deposited 5,000 Ghana cities into a savings account that earns an annual simple interest of 4%. How much interest will John earn after three years? Nautical. 600 Ghana cities. That is also correct. <laughs> what is the purpose of using indentation in document formatting? St. Joseph. For easy reading. No. It is to create a hierarch hierarchical structure in the document. Okay. All right. And with this, we come to the end of round two.
Okay. At the end of round two, Nautica Goodwill JHS had 20 points. <laughs> St. Joseph, three points. And then wisdomization, negative one. <laughs> this gives us a total for Nautica Goodwill, 29 points. St. Joseph, 29 points. And a wisdomization, 12 points. Before we move to the third round, Nautica Goodwill will replace Laurentia Prempe with Doris Laie. Thank you very much, Laurentia. And welcome, Doris. And wisdomization will also replace Adiza to Suleiman with Inkem David. <laughs> Doris and David, you are welcome. For round three, one question will be read out to you, and then you would perform a task. This task will be assessed. You will have 15 minutes to do that and at the end of the period the total marks to gain is 15 points this is the science and technology challenge and is sponsored by dex science dex science set so go for a break and i'll bring your items to you Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load, and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, Wow, if at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you may turn over your sheets and I'll take you through the questions. So the preamble, you have been provided with three mirrors labeled M1, M2, and M3, and a laser labeled L1, and a screen labeled S1. Your task, one, you are to place the laser and the screen at the positions indicated on the sheet provided and a circle of radius eight centimeters has been created for you. You are to turn on the laser, place the mirror such that the two edges of each mirror touch the circumference of the circle. Move the mirrors along the, cir move the, mirrors along the circumference of the circle until a reflection of the laser beam is seen on the screen S1. Your task Use the pieces of cardboard as a support for the mirrors. Use a pen to trace the outline of the mirrors. Shade the segment formed. Using a ruler, trace the path traveled by the light ray from the laser beam to the screen. Leave your experiment as it is. Outcome and inspect your final work. 
Note that the beam of light to be used in this challenge is the la red laser beam. Your related questions are, what property of the light permits it to be bounced around? Then what property of the mirror makes light bounce off it? Then you are to describe the path traveled by the light ray from the laser to the first mirror. And then what is the shape of the path of the light you have drawn? I hope that's very clear. All right, so with this, check if you have everything. You have the three mirrors and you have the laser and you have your screen. You are okay. All right, so you can begin work.
you have five minutes more. Five more minutes left. You have two minutes more, two minutes more. Make sure you write your names on the answer sheets. Make sure you write the name of your school on the answer sheet.
So time up. Leave your setups and just bring your sheets. Leave your setups and bring your sheets. Bring. Leave your setups alone. Don't touch your setups. Just bring your sheets. Don't touch your setups. Just leave your sheets. Ideal Solomon Bennett student is someone who is an all-rounder. I mean, practically, intellectually, morally, physically. At first, uh, the study of science was true, poor, pass and forget. As a school, we thought it um, as very important to let our children have a practical experience with what they study. So as a school, we decided to introduce um, the science sets. As a parent, I experience what is being taught to my child in school, in the house, and I see my children telling me this is what brings the force to the machine that is carrying the load, and the rest, and I'm, I'm like, wow. If at uh, grade five and six, a child is able to have all this at the back of their mind and be hands-on, then the future is, is bright. Science set has been the game changer for Solomon Bennett Memorial as a school. Our cherished and distinguished alumni and ever-supportive stakeholders of our great university, 
the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Thank you very much for the privilege and the honor to come your way briefly with a few thoughts on the KNUST Day of Giving. This is a special day to honor, appreciate, and celebrate the hen that laid the golden eggs after 70 years of existence and global impact. On Friday, the 6th of October, 2023, we shall all show our appreciation to KNUST by making financial donations to the university towards a noble cause in an innovative online fundraising initiative that is dubbed the KNUST Day of Giving. Our target is to raise 200 million Ghana cities to build a 2,000 bed space hall of residence at KNUST to solve one of the biggest problems of our students and management, accommodation on campus for students. I am therefore calling on the magnanimity of all alumni, industry, and business partners, staff, students, and all friends of KNUST to kindly make financial donations electronically in any major currency on the KNUST Day of Giving. I am extremely pleased to announce to you that you are an automatic champion for this great and noble assignment. Please let us endeavor to rally as many people as possible to create this big supporting wave to make a huge impact on this global KNUST Day of Giving. No donation is too small. Thanks so very much and do stay blessed for deciding to give to support the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. KNUST Day of Giving. Please do not be left out. Hashtag KNUST Day of Giving. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon and welcome back. So before we go to the max, I would take you through what I expected of you and why I gave you the max you have. So you had gone through and what you were supposed to do was to demonstrate the rectilinear motion of light or light traveling in the straight lines. And you had some questions to answer. But then with respect to the task, you had to place the laser and then the screen at positions indicated on the sheet provided and then the circle of eight cent uh, radius eight centimeters had been created for you. So if you should do that, I uh, award you two marks. Then you had to turn on the laser, that's one. 
place the mirror such that the two edges of each mirror touch the circumference of the circle. That's one. And then move the mirrors along the circumference of the circle until a reflection of the laser beam is seen on the screen. That's one. So if you should get all these three right, you get three points. Then you have to use a pen to trace the outline of the mirrors and then shade the segment formed using a ruler and then trace the path. Trace the path which has been given to you. Trace the path which has been given to you. Trace the path traveled by the light ray. Traveled by the light ray from the laser beam to the screen. Then you leave your experiment, then I come to inspect. Now, you have to answer the following questions. What property of the light permits it to be bounced around? Then you also state what property of the mirror makes the light bounce off it. Then describe the path traveled by the light ray from the laser to the first mirror. And what is the shape of the path of light you have drawn? Now, MS or MS Domization Mission International School. For the tax, you did place the laser and then the screen at the uh, positions indicated on the screen. So you get one point, for, uh, you get two points for that. You did turn on the laser and place the mirror such that two edges of the mirrors touched each uh, the circumference of the circle, and then there was a reflection of the laser beam on the screen. So you get three points for that. You used a pen to trace the outline of the mirrors, but you didn't shade the segment formed. So you get two. Uh, you get. Uh, one point out of two. So in total, you get six points. Six points out of seven. The related questions, yes, reflection, you got it right, smooth surface, then moving in straight line, and then trapezium. So in total, you, get, you got 14 out of 15. I nearly gave you 15, but then I had to be very critical so that I don't dash you points like that. Because this is qualified to Kumasi. Very okay, so you have to be very strict. All right, for nautical goodwill. Yes, you did place the laser and the, uh, uh, at the positions for tax one. You got two points for that. Tax two, I gave you two out of three because I didn't see the laser beam on the screen. Though your uh, mirrors were placed such that the two edges were touching the circumference, you did turn on the laser. I didn't see the laser on the screen, so you didn't get four points for that. And then you didn't use a pen to trace, no shade, so you don't get points for that. Then reflection of light, you got it. Then said the mirror has. Said the mirror has a flat surface. Uh, I didn't expect that. I didn't want that, so I didn't give a point for that. Then uh, property of light, light traveling in a straight line, you got a point. You got two points for that, and then the shape is not a triangle; it's trapezium, so you don't get points for that. So in total, you got eight points out of fifteen. <laughs> St. Joseph, your challenge also was in the tax two, where your mirrors, the edges were not touching the circumference. So you lost a mark for that. So you got two out of that. But then, and you also didn't trace the outline, neither did you shade. So, and then reflection of light, that is correct. Surface is shining, that is correct. Then uh, the path is straight because of light travels in a straight line. I gave that for you. 
but then triangle no triangle no so you got 10 out of 15 10 out of 15. so at the end of round three Notka Goodwill has 37 points. St. Joseph, 39 points. And Everest Domization, 26 points. Now the contest is hot and hotter. Or should we put on the AC? Okay, because the place is getting hotter. Uh, the competition is hot. Uh, someone says it's getting hotter and hotter. All right. So we go to the last round. The last round is the decoding the clues round. In this round, I read out the question uh, in a series of clues. And if the question is answered on the first clue, you get six points. On the second, five points. On the third, you get three, four points, and then on the four for any after, you get three points. You have to press your buzzer before attempting to answer the question. Failure to press the buzzer before answering disqualifies you from that question and nullifies your answer even if it is correct. I need specific answers. So if you give me something which is a bit similar, I won't take it. I hope that's clear. Let's test our buzzers and wisdomization. St. Joseph, nautical. To my audience, I'll kindly ask, let's be quiet and patient and let our hands do the talking. Let our hands do the talking. Okay. So I'll use my hands, my fingers to show so that we all know which clue I am on. The first one. I am an output device associated with computers. I comprise of a visual display support nautical monitor. Monitor is correct. <laughs> On the second clue. The second set. I am a bird of family Numidadae in the order of Galliformes. I am found across sub Sahara Africa. I am a wild animal but I can also be kept as poultry. I am a popular source of meat in the northern part. St. Joseph. Guinea fowl. Guinea fowl is correct. <laughs> on the fourth clue. On the fourth clue. The third set. I am one of the oldest natural sciences. I use mathematics physics and chemistry in order to explain and wisdomization albert einstein no in order to explain the origin of celestial bodies and evolution saint joseph astronomy that is correct <laughs> that is on the second clue and the last and final I am a compound in chemistry. I lack carbon-hydrogen bonds. However, simple carbon atoms are often considered and classified as one of my compounds. Every chemist... St. Joseph. Organic compounds. No. Every chemical compound can be classified under me or can be classified under me, or, yes, can be classified under me. Yes. Yes, mm, so it's level them, yeah. I'm done, who am I? Nautical. Okay. No. In organic compounds, in organic compounds, in organic compounds. And with this, we come to the end of the contest. We shall wait for the results.
all too soon our qualifiers in Accra have come to an end with this contest. And we will take we will take the last or the scores for this contest and then we'll see those who have qualified to be in Kumase. At the end of round four, Nautica Goodwill had five points, St. Joseph eight points, and Wisdomization zero points. This gave us a total and wisdomization 26 points. Nautical Goodwill, 42 points. And so in Joseph Roman Catholic Church, Fisi had 47 points. And so St. Joseph joins Ashridge Montessori School, Rising Star Montessori, The Youngsters, Tema Parents, Star Holy Kingdom Academy, and uh, to qualify by winning their contests to represent Greater Accra in Kumase. So you have won your contest. And as part, there were two slots for those who would come up second with the highest scores. As at this morning, Atomic Hills had the highest with 39. And as at this evening, Nautica Goodwill has 42 points. Therefore, Nautica Goodwill will join as well as Atomic Hills too. So we congratulate all these schools and hopefully we'll meet them in Kumase. I am Dr. Linus Kekulabek and I have been your moderator. Thank you.